To give you a better sense of what took place, we have prepared a video with the lead surgeon, Dr. Pomahaj, showing us more about the transplant. Uh, my name is Bo Pomahak. I'm uh, a plastic surgeon here at Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, in charge of the face transplantation program. Uh, this is a three-dimensional acrylic model of our patient and his defect. Following injury, he lost uh, the bony structures of his mid-face that include uh, the nose uh, and the entire hard palate with all the overlying soft tissues such as nose and upper lip. What we needed for the patient were tissues that included uh, facial skin, uh, the entire nasal structure, as well as upper lip and uh, hard palate. Once we found the appropriate donor, the uh, tissues were recovered, including uh, muscles of facial animation and the nerves that uh, power them, as well as nerves that provide sensation to the facial unit and then uh, brought it over to a recipient and reconnected uh, the vessels under, under microscope. The donor needs to match not only from uh, tissue characteristics, but also uh, has to be age appropriate. We have found that donors up to 20 years younger or up to 10 years older are acceptable match and uh, similar uh, color of skin. We've been struggling for uh, years, perhaps decades, with the most difficult uh, facial reconstructions and patients that needed uh, extensive uh, amounts of soft tissues, uh, both for aesthetic as well as functional purposes. Uh, we have um, ultimately came to conclusion that th the best reconstructive technique that would address most appropriately all of the issues would be uh, uh, transplantation of tissues that are like compared to what the patient used to have. And those uh, uh, leads uh, ultimately brought us to uh, uh, composite tissue transplantation being uh, the answer to some of the needs that we had. Yes, we do, and it's all outlined in our uh, protocol. Uh, we consider age as well as sex uh, match as well as skin color match as important criteria for match. We have done also research looking at identity issues, and uh, we have found that uh, the identity really doesn't get transferred from the donor to recipient, and there is really not significant risk of recognizing the donor on the new patient. So uh, interestingly, I've never met the patient before he had the injury, so I don't really have a clear uh, understanding how he used to look. But uh, again, based on our research that we performed, uh, there is an average 60% of chance that the patient will look very like they used to look, and that's uh, limited to a uh, model that we used only central part of the face transplantation. It may differ with other types of transplantation, but it turned out there was approximately 60% uh, that he would be easily recognizable, 40% he may not. So there were two operating rooms, one preparing uh, the tissue from the donor, re uh, recovering the tissue from the donor, and second operating room where the recipient was being prepared. Uh, the, each of that part took about six hours to get to the point that we could actually transfer the part from the donor to the recipient. And after that, the remaining time, um, I think things slow down a little bit because the most stressful part is over, but it takes a lot of time to uh, inset the facial part make sure that uh, bony structures fit, that the nerves are connected, that uh, the skin is trimmed, that, of course, the whole uh, um, graft uh, remains well perfused. What risk exists right now in this new direction? The first 24 hours would be probably the cutoff where most of the problems occur in terms of clotting of the, of the vessels uh, that served uh, for connection of the part that was transferred. After the first 24 hours, the risk goes down, but it's not negligible. And certainly within the first week, we may see first signs of a variety of infections due to the induction of immune suppression. So uh, it will be uh, still tenuous a uh, week or 10 days, but once, once the facial graft heals well in and the patient uh, overall does well, then it seems that based on the experience that's quite limited, but based on the experience we know, they tend to do well for a while. 
but rejection is always a concern and we'll have to monitor very, very closely.